in this four minute videos for developers we will see what exactly is the purpose of target endpoints apart from api routing prerequisites for this video you need apache edge account you need basics of apache api proxy as well as basics of uh, apache target servers like api routing Let's see why do we actually use target servers apart from API routing. Let's say you have an Apache Edge and uh, that sits in between uh, the client and the target server and you create an API proxy to manage your APIs. And API proxy is divided into proxy endpoint and target endpoint. Let's say you have an HR backend system which is legacy in which accepts a SOAP payload. Or maybe it is uh, very slow and it supports only few transactions per minute. And you also have one more target server which is like a new kind of uh, APIs like REST APIs. Now let's say you want to expose a seamless API to the clients where you want to hide the SOAP and make sure everything is the rest. So you want to do transformation only for HR backend, not for payroll backend. So if you want to do anything specific to some target server, you can able to do that in Apache Edge. For example, whenever a request comes in for the employee HR backend, then you want to route the request to that particular target based on some condition. And you want to enforce some policies like quota. Let's say you want to allow only four calls per minute. And let's say whenever a call comes to employee salary, then you want to route the API proxy to the payroll backend. And probably you want to put a quota like two per minute. So not only quota, you can do API transformation, like changing from REST to SOAP. For example, a legacy HR backend accepts only SOAP. But the new kind of backend like payroll accepts REST. But you want to expose only REST to the clients. And you want to hide this complexity. You can able to do that using target endpoints and specifically attaching the policies per target. Let's see it in action how it works. So we're going to create a simple API proxy to demonstrate same and modify the behavior of the API per target endpoint. Click on plus proxy, choose the target server as a reverse proxy and name the API as target server demo1. I'm going to name it as v1 slash ts demo. So I'm going to give uh, in target endpoint uh, just for now as HTTP bin.org slash get but we're going to give different target endpoints using target servers concept. Choose authorization as a pass through, click next and uh, choose uh, test environment and build and deploy. And click on uh, the API proxy that you have created. Let's add uh, uh, route rules and route conditions. One more target endpoint. As you can see by default it points to http bin.r slash get so i'm going to add one more target server let's say apigee mock and then give the target api as mock target dot apigee.net and let's update the url of uh, the endpoint with the protocol http colon slash slash points click on proxy endpoints default as you can see there's a default route rule so we're going to add one more route rule called uh, apigee route and we're going to conditionally route uh, the API. So once the uh, target has been defined using route rules and conditions, we're going to modify the API per target. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the four per minute to uh, HTTP bin.org. So I'm going to click on preflow of the default target endpoint and add the policy called quota and define the quota as four per minute. I'm going to update distributed and synchronous to true and allow count to 4 and time minute to minute and then remove start time and asynchronous configuration and remove the type calendar. Similarly, what we're going to do is we're going to attach a different policy, different quota policy to apigee mock and uh, we're going to give the quota as 2 per minute. So what we're doing is we are changing the API behavior based on the target endpoint. Similarly, you can do API mediation. Similarly, you can change the response based on targets and you can able to modify the API and create new kind of API experiences and expose these APIs to the clients. Let's see it in action. Once API proxy is saved, let's just uh, the functionality, click on start try session. So we're going to make an API call first to the mock endpoint uh, that, we, that is HTTP bin.org. As you can see, four calls will be allowed. And then fifth call will fail. There you go. Four calls are allowed when we made an API call to HTTP bin.org. Now let's say if you make an API call to uh, Apigee using the condition target is called Apigee, then only two calls are allowed. As you can see, two calls and then third call failed. So that's how we can able to change the API behavior per target uh, endpoint using Apigee Edge. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment.apigee.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your colleagues and friends.